you have longed for sweet peace and for faith to increase you have fervently earnestly But you cannot have rest or be perfectly blessed until all on the altar is laid. Welcome to the Lord's Table, to this great agape feast, as we on this Thursday of Holy Week, which we call Maundy, 
come together to remember Jesus. Any time we come to the Lord's table, of course, we are invited to remember this specific meal, but this is the anniversary. This is the date in which we celebrate the Christian, the Jesus-led version of the Passover meal. And this then becomes the Lord's Supper. Welcome to this agape love feast. What we invite you to do for this time, if you're able, is to really see this as a meal. Listen to this recording at, at table with your family, with friends, with yourself and your candle, however you want to commemorate this. Let it be an actual supper. It doesn't matter what the food is before you. Just know that Jesus is before you too. A reading from Exodus chapter 15 and 11. Who is like you, mighty one among the gods? Who is like you, resplendent in holiness, revered praiseworthy, working wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You led in your faithful love the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The peoples heard, they quaked. Pangs like labor seized the inhabitants of Philistia. Then the chiefs of Eden were dismayed. The rulers of Moab trembling seized them. All the inhabitants of Canaan melted away. Terror and dread fell upon them. By the might of your arm, they became still as a stone until your people, redeeming God, passed by until the people whom you acquired passed by you brought them and planted them on the mountain of your own possession the place sheltering god you made for your dwelling the sanctuary most high god that your hands have established the everlasting god will reign forever and ever we thank God for liberation. And now, as we hear the reading for Monday Thursday from our Gospel, Matthew chapter 26, beginning at verse 17, I invite you to have your communion elements in front of you. Have your feast ready. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain person and say, the teacher says, my time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did just as Jesus instructed them and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he reclined at the table with the 12. And while he ate, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became deeply grieved, and each one began to say to him, Not me, is it, Rabbi? He responded and said, The one who dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. Indeed, the son of woman goes away as it is written of him, but woe to the person by whom the son of woman is betrayed. It would have been better for that person not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, responded and said, It wasn't me, was it, Rabbi? Jesus replied, You said it. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread and, blessing it, he broke it and he gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. I tell you all, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you all in the realm of my Abba. And when they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. 
Here ends the reading from year A of the Women's Womenist Lectionary for the Year by Dr. Wilda Gaffney. Olvidaré a un recuerdo cuando tu gracia llegó a mi encuentro y cubrió mi necesidad. Yo me rendí. Me diste paz. Y un futuro, mi corazón ahora es tuyo. Tengo amor solo porque me amaste a mí. Sacrificio aún me conmueve, fuiste a la cruz porque me amas. Vivo estoy solo porque me amaste a mí, me amaste a mí. Tu amor, Dios, quien podrá semperarme de tu corazón, nada me puede apartar de tu amor, Dios, tu yo soy, tu yo soy, nada me puede apartar de tu amor, Dios, quien podrá semperarme de su corazón, nada me puede apartar de tu amor, Dios, tu yo soy, tu yo soy, tu yo soy. Te amo, Cristo te amo, yo te amo, porque me amaste a mí.
llegaste a mí Me amaste a mí Me amaste a mí And as we have gathered together for the Agape Feast, we give thanks for the love that's represented at this table. Jesus invites us to three forms of love, to love our Lord, our God, to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's three, God, neighbor, and self. And when we nourish our bodies, when we take the time to pray in thanksgiving for a meal, what we are doing is loving God in remembrance, loving our neighbor who can be gathered with us either physically or virtually, and loving ourselves because we are worth sitting down with. We are worth the beautiful fruits of the vine that are at our disposal. And so I ask you to join with me in prayer for the feast before us. Envía tu Espíritu, O God, O Dios. Send down your Holy Spirit and bless these elements. Bless everything before us so that they can be the living life of Christ, so that Jesus can be present to us, so that we can remember that Passover meal where he sat with people like us. Sit with us, Jesus. Let us hear your voice. Let us hear your sound of laughter. Let us remember that your story wasn't all bad days, but indeed you believed in delight and you gave your disciples delight before the next day of your journey when they would nail you to that tree. But instead of sitting only in that grief that you knew was to come. You decided to be with them and to show them joy. And so we call on that joy now, God. We need your joy, joy that comes from you and no one else. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, but one thing more. Our Abba, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
beloved in Christ, I want you to remember that when Luke the Evangelist wrote of our risen Savior, days down the road, on the road to Emmaus, he came upon his disciples, people who were grieving the loss. They didn't recognize Jesus, but their eyes were opened in the breaking of the bread. May our eyes be so opened. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow for Good Friday.